Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how I created these kind of models with these creases in indentions and some folds to recreate the suit uh, parts of your leather backrest or something similar. So we're going to model all this in 3ds Max and not using any bump maps or similar stuff. So let's get started. First let me just uh, hide this. Going to the top view I used for the base at the box and I right click on it, convert it to editable poly and going to the front view I selected this and ring and connect and going to the top view R on the keyboard to make the scale uh, visible and so I got the basic shape for my backrest I apply a turbo smooth modifier uh, two iteration and click here in isoline display so we don't get this uh, too much uh, edges seen we can do this three in the end but for now the two is going to be okay whoops uh, then I selected this one I think and connect it again and this one and connect it again. And I'm going to top view and ignore back facing and selecting this vertex. Ignore back facing means that I'm not going to select the back, fa the back uh, vertices. So this is a co uh, cool uh, feature, feature to make easy selections of the points. Well, I'm not going to use this color uh, and then I just uh, holding shift and chamfer it and maybe just a little bit more and now I selected this and clicked on ring and holding control and click on this uh, edge and click on this edge ring and control click on this edge Oops. You see, yeah, that's okay. Now I connect it again. But now I have hang on one, two, three, four, five uh, vertices or edges for this uh, polygon, which I don't want because hang ons are always a problem. If you want to, I don't know, use this model for your game engine or something it is unwise to have hang-ons in your model so I'm going to uh, right click and target weld and target weld these two points and these two points now I'm going to go to this selection of this edge and ring as, as I can see all these edges were selected and just uh, connect them once then I go back to vertex selection, right click, target weld, uh, well sorry, right click, uh, cut and I cut from this to this and from this to this and I go back to vertex uh, edge selection and I think I delete this for edges, yeah, holding control backspace I get rid of uh, these edges. Then I go to polygon selection, select these four polygons, and go to bevel and go into negative value. And click OK. If we show end result too long, we can see we created this kind of nice looking pinch for our hole in our leather design.
design. <coughs> now I went and selected these two, this uh, edge holding shift, clicking, and it will automatically select the ring. And holding shift connect, and I just push it a little bit closer. Apply and click and holding shift and click and it select the ring and it automatically applied uh, connecting uh, edge connecting edge now I go to edge selection and select this one holding shift clicking and as I can see I have some edges selected and I go back to connect holding shift and I just right click on this arrow to make it the uh, default value which is zero clicking on OK zoom in pressing one on the keyboard or pressing here on vertex right click cut and I again cut from here to here right click and here from here right click and right click again to make the cut um, Control backspace, and now I just selected these uh, edges, and these edges. Bow, bow, bow. I'm not going to show you how I created all the creases because they are created in the same way l as this one. So I just selected these uh, edges and then extrude them holding shift and clicking on extrude going into the negative value and maybe just pinching them a little bit together pressing OK and then in the top view I still have ignore back, fa back facing selected and going to the vertex selection I see I have now angons again here are his here is an angon. So I'm going to weld these points together, selecting them and uh, clicking here on settings and just push this value until they'll snap together, all of them. Basic OK and then just selecting these vertices and on, on the other side too and just clicking on weld. And now if we apply Turbo Smooth modifier we can see we got a crease. Then you can just play around with the settings uh, and apply additional additional lines uh, and again just selecting the edges uh, that you want to have creased and then just extrude them and don't forget to weld these vertices. You can also apply some additional uh, edges here to get the crease uh, going upwards and downwards. Now I'm going to just show you how I created uh, this back this back uh, I should have done this at in the beginning just selecting <laughs> before I had all these edges but it's okay I can do it also here just uh, selecting the what is this back back face back faces of this uh, model and inset them and this way I get this nice flat uh, flat area and now if I just going back to the front view or going to edge selection holding shift selecting all this uh, ring of edges and then just connect them holding shift and just pushing it downwards and now going to polygon selection click and shift click to select it all around and I just go to extrude holding shift and making sure I'm using local normal and going to in the negative value pressing apply and going into positive value so it sticks out a little bit before I click on OK. This way I created this which looks like uh, the part of the 
backrest where the C, uh, the uh, where the leather is sewed together. So it's really easy. So just selecting polygons and extrude them inwards and uh, outwards. The same polygons created this kind of effect. Then I just uh, what should I show you? Uh, yeah, maybe this because this is pretty much flat now. I just selected these edges and weld uh, connected them together twice and going to the front view I just went to uh, uh, this vertex selection and push these vertices a little bit down and selecting these vertices and pushing them up a little bit and maybe this, these two let's see what happens after we apply a turbo smooth modifier yeah we get some some more uh, volume to the the backrest <laughs> maybe this this was a little bit too much but you get the picture you just play around with uh, with this uh, with these settings and you'll be okay so for the for the button in the in the center I used box and I just used the same values and apply a turbo smooth modifier this way I get this nice uh, looking circular uh, design with uh, four sided polygons and I just uh, collapse it and then just move it into the middle and you can just squish it a little bit like this and push it downwards and if you like if you want you can again apply an additional turbo smooth modifier to it and this is pretty much it what I wanted to show you in this tutorial so we created this nice looking creases and if you don't like uh, this is this is pretty pretty harsh uh, uh, you can just select the center uh, edge and holding control and backspace and just delete it and this way you create uh, a much uh, smoother uh, crease as you can see here here the edge is still present and here it's not anymore so the crease is uh, a little bit smoother so you can uh, play around with uh, these settings creating I don't know harsh uh, creases and some soft creases uh, so you don't get this kind of uh, uniform look of your design so this is it from me for this tutorial subscribe to my channel if you're, if you're not subscribed Share this uh, video with your friends, uh, like it, comment it, and till next time, bye.